And tonight, the first question that I have for you... I don't have any answers, but go ahead. What the hell's going on with Raw? Man, you It know was what? right back to where it was two weeks I am, ago. I am It was like so- Dallas. <laughs> I knew you'd like that reference. Yeah, I was so confused. I, um... I was so busy with stuff like After Raw that I didn't, I was like, I didn't even bother because I was just like so, so dumbfounded when it was over. But I know everything you're probably going to say. And I, I was just, it's like, and I've gotten like, you know, email after email from people asking all the same questions and tr- trying to make sense out of this. And I cannot do so. Um, There's no know. sense to be made of this. I, I mean, yeah, it like went back to what it was. It's just, I mean, you debut Rey Mysterio like that, you know, you that deal at the end with with um the mystery guy, you know, and everything. It's like that that is like classic old school wrestling except the babyface team wins. I'm <laughs> every time and then you unma- I mean, it's like I've seen that, you know, I can't say I've seen it done 20 times, but I've seen it done 10 times and it always works. It's the easiest thing in the world. You just pull the freaking mask off, but the the baby face has to win. I mean, it's like the new guy has to pin Shane McMahon. There's no other finish. He can't pin Drew. I mean, I guess he could. I mean, he could. I mean, he shouldn't, but he could. But it's like, and that, and I'm watching this going like, okay, this is a this is a classic case. And then they pin him. And then he goes to unmask, and it's like, who cares who he is now? He already got pinned. And then it's like Cedric, and it's like, are you trying to push him or bury him? I don't even know. And if I don't know, I'm sure he's not getting over. This is just the weirdest show. Last week, there were... It was it's just a totally different show. It was No, it was totally same. Last week yeah. was different. This was, last this week was, was the, right last back. Week was the, last week was the aberration. Um, yeah. I don't know if they... You know, just, but that, you know, that right now, that wouldn't be the mentality. You know, it's like, it's like traditionally they get hurt by Home Run Derby, which was tonight. So it was probably going to be a low rated show. But like, even when you do that, I mean, shouldn't the, the idea be to, uh, you know, still, I mean, at least make, if nothing else, just make sense. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't have to have a, a spectacular show, but it was like, so they, so the opening thing. Um, oh my God. On the show. I was so angry. In this but, opening but, segment here. Oh, okay. So, 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 so it's 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 the elimination match. It's 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 um, Andrade and Zelina Vega against Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. And they so, explain when the match starts that it is an elimination match, right? But men can only face men, and women can only face women. So how does this? How can you have an elimination? Match? We are totally in WCW now. Like this oh, is this the one most is. fucking this, ridiculous thing I've this ever one heard. This one was this one. This absolutely was WCW. You're right. This one so, was. But if, even worse, even worse. Think about this. What if, um, you know, like, um, what if Andrade is eliminated and Zelina pins Becky? Exactly. It's a man but, versus a woman, but you're not allowed to have but, man but on woman have, action. But, but you can't have the match. <laughs> no. So it's like it's, 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 it, it, it makes no sense. And then, like Seth Rollins pins Andrade, and or excuse me, no, Becky. No, take it. But Becky pins Zelina. Becky, Becky pins, pins Zelina. Zelina, and then Becky just has to stand there. She's on the apron. It's not even She's like just, she she eliminated her, and so now she also has to leave the match. That's not what happened. For those of you that didn't see the show, that is not what happened. Is she so eliminated Zelina, and then she stood on the apron. In a match where women cannot face men. So what's she on the apron for? Why is she waiting for a tag? She can't get a tag. Because there's no other woman for her to face. And then... So they explain that the men have to face the men, the women have to face the women. We just saw last week a woman submit a man. Yes, we did. And it was Becky Lynch. So, are we talking like at the pay-per-view, Baron Corbin can pin Becky? Is that the rule now? Or is the well, rule okay, just here, whatever the, the hell they want on any given day? Well, I mean, okay. I know that's the answer. But. Okay, okay, no, here's the thing. Okay, normally I would say no, except it's extreme rules. So if it's extreme rules, can Baron Corbin pin Becky? Hell if I know. The matches know. are different maybe, every single week. Maybe with extreme rules, I would go in. I mean, I would say with extreme rules, he can do it because there's no rules. All I know is they announced this match, and I'm just like, what 
how this makes no sense. There's no announcer trying to explain this to us. Well, because he can't. So as noted, Becky and Zelina work. Becky puts her in this armor, submits her. So Lacey comes I mean, like, out right, right, right away too. Yes. and the match was this, and the match because it's Seth Rollins and Andrade doing almost the entire match was was quite good. Sure. So then Lacey comes out. Becky goes after her. They brawl in the crowd. So we have a commercial. Come back. So now it is it is Seth versus Andrade. Becky is standing on the apron, just thumb up her ass. I don't know what she's doing there. The guys have their big match. And finally, Zelina keeps interfering. She keeps interfering. She finally goes for another dive. Seth catches her. Becky drop kicks her. Seth kicks Andrade and then pins him with the stomp. So we actually never found out what would have happened if the scenarios we mentioned actually had occurred in this match. They just never mentioned it. They presume that you, the viewer, are so stupid that you're not going to think and you're just going to go along with whatever they tell you. And that was the opener there. And then they were attacked by Baron and Lacey, laid out, left for dead, and then Paul stormed down to the ring. That punch that Lacey threw in slow motion looked pretty devastating. Well, that's her finish. It's either got to look devastating or she needs a new one. Well, yeah. 